Well, Creole Heritage Month, that's the Moi Etage Creole, continued on Sunday, the 25th of October. Many of you would have enjoyed that with the Creole, uh, Jeunet Creole festivities. And this year's commend, uh, commemoration was held under the theme Forward with Our Culture, Knowing Our Heritage. And the celebrations went beyond the official uh, host communities of Bogies, Canaries, Tiroche, Miko, and Labre with a proliferation of color and music. Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony has commended the organizers and St. Lucians on the whole for their conduct over the past few weeks and the past few days in particular in remembrance of those who crafted the nation's development over the years. Canaries was one of the host communities Sunday with the backing of the Boca Group. I think that um, the Junior Creole has become probably one of the biggest festivals, one of the biggest events celebrated in St. Lucia right now. Um, you will find that there are more people involved in this event than anybody, than any other event in the country, not carnival, not jazz, not anything. I think the national spirit that has now gathered behind, um, behind Jeune Creole is absolutely wonderful. It is also good to know that um, the Belvedere Plantation is about to happen in this community. I think it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for the people of Canaries. Um, I know that John Kennedy and his team, they're very serious and we hope to see in the very near future a great um, facility on the beach at Belvedere and um, employing people in this community and probably one of the venues one of these days for the um, Jeune Creole. Well, I'm really happy to be here today to see this original or authentic part of St. Lucian culture. And this is a, a, a great start for the kind of thing that the tourist business is looking for, authenticity, and so near to where we're building our plantation resort. Um, and we have worked with the community here in Canaris on other projects, and I'm very keen that we should be supporting events like this and moving forward in the future making it part of the calendar for tourists to see. There will be more tourists here and it does help give a flavor of St. Lucia, which is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, well, this is Jeune Coyola Kanawi. We go by the theme of E.B.A. Chwit. You know, the Kanawi is an old school clay pot. So, Canaries people have the tendency to be very fiery, you know, and full of life. So, we, the, we went with that theme, E.B.A. Chwit. Um, you notice that the booths are not in one place. We decentralize the locations because we want people to walk around the village and really get a feel of what Canaries is really about. You have a lot of Creole food here. You won't find anything that's Americanized. It's all local, strictly local. We also have a mini museum kind of thing going on at the old church, which is now the cottage industry. You can, where you can see, you know, the old sewing machine and the scales and things that they used to do long time ago in canneries. It's a very important event. It's very interesting. It's what really sets St. Lucia um, apart from all the competition is where we see the culture being exhibited. And these are the sort of things that visitors like to participate in because they want to enjoy something that is different to where they reside. Um, so the Custrol Festival being featured here in Junior Creole, here in, in canneries, is very interesting. And um, there are a number of, you know, communities that come together to put on this festive event where we take a journey back into our history and, and really exhibit what is our unique culture. And this is, you know, part of the attraction. So I'm quite encouraged by seeing how well it turned out is and how people have actually embraced the festival and it's growing. As a matter of fact, I think this is the biggest event taking place on the island because it really draws people from all sorts of communities who come out and celebrate you know, on our culture. So it's quite interesting and encouraging. I think it has a very strong future.